Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I know I haven't been up on here for a while because basically I've just been on a journey getting closer to God like never before, listening like never before, being obedient like never before, walking in his power like never before. Come on, somebody. I'm not just talking hallelujah to his name. So I want to give you a short testimony. Without a test, there can be no testimony. You know, we're supposed to leave um, actually Louisiana today. Today is Friday and um, the storm came. So that delayed the people that were going to help me. Right. So I said, OK, God, and I already know what the enemy is doing. I know how the enemy does it because and, and I'm going to go there. I wasn't going to go there when I got on here, but I guess I'm supposed to tell everything for the people that's coming behind me, for the people that's walking in God right now, for the people that's seeking God, for the people that's standing on the wall, for the people that are apostolic and prophetic. They understand exactly what I'm going to say. The rest of y'all, y'all not going to understand. So don't worry about it. Night before last, I woke up at 430 to a gunshot. Warning shot me, I see. And it was right by my window. I've been here before because God told me, he said, you remember last time when you stayed down in Louisiana, how they rode by your house and shot in the air? I said, yeah. Remember in Sacramento? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I understand how the enemy tries to put fear. Come on, somebody, because that's his greatest, greatest weapon. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching right now. It ain't going to be long, but trust me, it's going to be strong. His greatest thing is fear. So three o'clock this morning, let me tell you all what happened. I wake up, my eyes leaking and I'm just going to keep it real. It was, it was, the pain was so excruciating that God said, rinse it out with milk. I don't know if y'all know this a old, old time trick. You spray anything in your eye, get anything in your eye, just hold some milk in your hand and rinse out your eye. I had to use a half a gallon of milk. It was so, it was like somebody threw one of my seasonings in my eye. So I woke up my dad. That's how excruciating it was. And I said, this is what's going on. I don't know what happened. I will sleep. Next thing I know, I woke up and... You know, like the Holy Spirit woke me up, get up, go, go rinse your eye out. <laughs> so this is what I saw in my vision. I saw somebody in a black hoodie blow some white dust in my eye, whether astral projection or witchcraft, they did it. So then after that, I had to hold a pack of meat on my eye for about two hours. And I'm not kidding. I don't have time to exaggerate and lie. And it, then after that, it kind of, you know, subsided. I said, God, what is going on? He said, you're getting ready to go next level. That's what this fight is about. You're about to be in a position that the enemy never wanted you in. Oh, come on, somebody. So without a test, you can't have a testimony. And I, I was kind of perturbed. I said, God, he said, Deanna, if I allow you to go through it, that means you got a test. That was a test. And now you got a testimony because I told you how to get it out your eye. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And just what he said worked because after the milk, I held a towel on my eye and, and I traded it off with the meat. So because he said the towel, I wet the towel and I put it in the freezer. He said, because the towel is going to take the particles out, you know, because anything seeps to your skin. Right. So I kept doing that. I put the meat on and then I'll go and I kept getting the towel out the freezer because I had to put it in the freezer, let it get cold. I did had to do that for five times, five times. And then after that, it subsided. My, my eyes still a little sore. So y'all can't tell me. That it's not on a high level of spiritual wickedness here in Louisiana. Don't tell me because I know what I'm talking about. Because I could tell y'all some more things, but I cannot. Those are the only two I was allowed to share. So with all that being said, I'm still standing. I still believe God. I still am who I am. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Through God. With God. Hallelujah. For God. Hallelujah. We got, a, we got, we got, we got some enemies, y'all. The enemy is trying to gain ground in this hour by fear. That's why they did all that stuff to put me in fear. But they just don't know. I didn't get in fear. I got more in faith. I trust God now more than ever. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. I'm going to say what God tell me to say. I'm going to go where God tell me to go. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be who God have called me to be. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to encourage you, do not be in fear this hour. All that was to try to get me in fear of them instead of him. I'm going to say it again. The enemy wants you to fear them instead of him, which is God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who I serve. Hallelujah. God for God I live and for God I will die. Hallelujah to his name. Nobody playing with the enemy. He th they think they're God, but they're not. Hallelujah. So I want to get up on here and tell you without a test, there's no testimony. 
And God said he has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, hallelujah, to his name. So glory, glory, glory be to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So roll out soldiers, for that is truly who you are. God bless.